So I wanted to get back to Classic today. I mentioned in yesterday's live stream that probably with the new Lodge coming out in Call of the Wild, I'll be mainly focusing on that for the foreseeable future anyway. And also, one of the things that kind of randomly got brought up was the potential for an Australian rainforest map. I don't know if I brought that up or if that was brought up in chat. But regardless, I thought we'd come to Pickabean Bay here in Classic because that is... Well, basically what this is made after. It's an Australian rainforest. And we're just going to kind of run around. I entered one water buffalo competition and I had a Rusa buck call as I was getting set up. So I did bring the crossbow. We're going to try to mainly use that. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. So he looks pretty average. And I just realized, well, that'll help, I guess. <laughs> I was going to say I realized I can't aim low enough. What if I just slide down right here by him. I still can't, but much easier shot anyway. So I think we should be able to run into quite a lot of water buffalo if we just kind of run the river. That's mainly the species I'm after, and then hopefully we can get some decent looking Bantang, maybe uh, Sambar as well. They tend to be a little more impressive than the Rusa. But it should be fun trying to mainly crossbow hunt. And of course I have that 9.3 if we if we would see like a big probably sandbar especially because they can only be brought in with scent. We'll just sort of go for it with that. That's another Rusa buck already. I may use the gun on that one because I'm not even like I haven't gone anywhere. He might be better. I can't judge them. I really haven't hunted them that much. They got like a an antler chain so I kind of knew what a big one looked like when the map initially came out. I don't know, it can't be that big. But, eh, I think we can go for that. Ooh. It must have been a little further than I thought. That hit pretty low, but they're, they're a smaller deer at least. Yeah, it didn't go too far. Although it was actually just body. All of his tracks were in the water. Like where there would have actually been blood, so I didn't know. And I did a mission. Alright, well that's worth it then even though I had to run all the way over here and I might as well just sort of I don't know I might take a route more like this because these three lakes tend to be pretty good for Bantang and water buffalo usually I would go along the kind of river we'll see if we find anything going this way if not I'll just kind of loop back down right to the river that's not a very big sandbar but there's only female Bantangs at these lakes as far as I can tell and I'm not sure we're going to be shooting a lot of sandbars, so we're going to go for it. I think I just made a brain shot on that follow-up. I was sure it was going to be heart to begin with, but anyway. I figure we might as well try to get the variety. Um, there must have been a sandbar female that ran through there. But I imagine Bantang are going to be pretty easy to find for the rest. And you never know, sometimes it seems like there's a good sandbar spawn. A lot of times, not so much. So first shot, that wouldn't have worked. Wait, what? Hold on. The first shot was body. Like, you see the size of the heart on these things? Maybe it's off to the side. Maybe I shot too low. I don't know how I didn't get heart to begin with, but then somehow I got head, skull, heart, right lung. Not going to complain. We're just going to take it. That guy actually ain't too bad. I don't think he's huge. Nah, definitely not. But, uh... If he's just gonna chill... What? Guess I missed double lung? But anyway, the water buffalo comp is heaviest uh, shot with... I think there's like three different ammunition types, but 9.3 is one of them. And it's gotta be charging, but I think... Like, once they enter the charging animation... They're just considered charging the entire time. They don't actually have to be running at you, and you'll see what I mean uh, momentarily. Is that? There's a bunch of them just chilling here. I'll show you with this one, then. I don't think it's possible to uh, get near a water buffalo and have it not charge you unless you're near water. They'll spook like if they're in the water. But let's see if we can get this to work. So what I mean by they don't have to be running at you is 
when they uh oh I should have crossbow bolts equipped when they charge they'll like run at you and stop and you could just shoot them then and I believe that still counts as charging so anyway that's what I was saying and now we gotta go find that long hit one so it appears as if I'm gonna have to shoot this one because my next track is right by it there's another one charging me from somewhere hello as soon as you shoot they all uh, run away so that other one's not gonna be a problem but this one shouldn't be too much further they usually run like a couple hundred meters on a single long hit yeah he didn't go too much further I really think this is about as big as they should get but they get way bigger and also I think I mentioned uh, like the weight is the uh, the actual like score for your comp and generally like the actual buffalo score and weight is pretty closely correlated like uh, if you have a really high scoring one generally they're gonna be quite heavy so we're gonna be sticking to the crossbow for anything that's not huge Okay, if I can not get dead for a moment, there's at least a better male here than the female that's charging me. I want to get that. Not 100% sure it's going to work. Really pushing my luck. Okay. So, hopefully things cooperate. Nice. Alright. I really didn't want to end up spooking this guy. Like, it's not one I would track. Because he's only... Probably 180s again. But it's a lot better than... That tiny female back there. Yeah, 188. I think that might be the same score as the other one. What the heck? Hello? Um, I should really reload this thing sometimes. I feel like I'm getting ambushed a lot more than normal. Where are you going? Stay there, please. Usually I see them coming. Today is just, they're everywhere. Jeez. Man, two more just like average sized males. I swear, if I just go and hunt this map for like 10 minutes looking for anything else, I'll find a big water buffalo that I chase. And then when it's the only competition I'm in, I guess it would make sense that I don't find one. But, I gotta kill that. I don't know if the other one will hear that or not, or react to it. He's not one I'm going to track, but if he's still there, we might as well go get him. 190, I guess that's at least the biggest one we've had. And the other one's just gone. I guess he did flee. Guess it saves me a crossbow bolt anyway. That looks a little better. I believe that is pretty much what we're chasing. So I'm going to take my scope off. Because that's going to make my life a little easier with the whole charging thing that I talked about. And hopefully... Hopefully he's a heavy one. He looks like he could be really good. I'm looking at the uh, like the actual spread of the horns. You can just see him sticking up behind the grass and the trees there. That's really cool. But uh, yeah, I think there's potential there anyway. I'll get a score estimate here. Once he gets angry at me, that's looking real good. What is that? Uh, say for score and weight estimate. Little spot on what's going on here. Uh, low weight, not that high score actually. So I thought he was better. But he's still going to be better than anything we shot by a good bit. And that'll do for that. So he's probably then 240s, I guess? 254? I mean, that ain't bad. Over 1100 kilos is solid but puts me in fourth and only top three get uh rewards so i have to try to do a little better or at least we got a good one and even though there's a bit of a shadow on his head we got the sun out so i think we'll go with that it does kind of like to be cloudy anytime i try to take a trophy shot on this map i think but we'll run around a little bit still i want to get a bantang just in case you've like Never seen this map in classic, so you can see what they look like, because we did talk about the Australian Rainforest thing, and specifically Bantang Horns got brought up on the stream. So if you saw that and you're curious, we'll try to get one of them. 
And otherwise, if we run into a big buffalo, better than that one, that would be nice. That's what I'm looking for. That's a male. It's really pathetic, but it is a bantang. And it is actually giving me a pretty good shot. Look how pathetic those horns are for the size of the body on that guy. The males are always, like, super muscular in, compared, uh, in comparison to the females. So you can kind of tell the difference without actually spotting them. But I just saw the tiny horns and assumed that was a female. But at least we got one of everything at least interesting. There's feral hogs and magpie geese on this map. I didn't think either were anything that I should really focus on getting, but I had to get a bantang. Especially since I mentioned it, and you might remember earlier I said, uh, with the sandbar deer, I passed up a couple of female bantangs to shoot it. I haven't seen a sandbar buck either since that, so it must just be a really water buffalo heavy spawn. But anyway, we got what we wanted. And these guys come in a bunch of different colors. There's like, there's an orange one, there's this, there's a darker color. There might be one other common variant, and then there's of course a couple of rares. But 104. I kind of was wondering if this would be below 100. You don't see that very often. That's kind of pathetic. But anyway, at least we got a decent water buffalo. And uh, I don't even know, like, I said I wanted to uh, hunt this map because of what we talked about on stream. But I was kind of just feeling like hunting something different. We've been doing a ton of, like, elk and whitetail and all that stuff. So it was good to mix it up a little bit. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.